Heart Lore. Thanks for joining me. And thank you so very much, Kayleen, for allowing me to be a part of this wonderful Fluid Art Express uh, venue. Um, I'm very, very honored that uh, she would even consider me because all you artists out there are just so incredibly talented. I, I'm meeting so many of you and you're just all so awesome. So thank you for including me. I'm loving all of it so far. It is just so much fun. Uh, especially the collaboration in the message area. Um, it's a lot of fun there. You guys are all a hoot, I must say. Uh, lots of sense of humors. I am obsessed with blooms. So that's what I'm going to do today. I do, uh, today we're gonna do an 18 by 24. And um, I decided to do all blues with some silver. I thought it'd be kind of pretty to just have kind of a blue, Christmas bloom. So that's what I'm going to do today. So without further ado, we're going to get you down to the canvas. We're going to make a mess and I am going to bloom away. So let me get you down to the canvas and we'll get blooming. Alrighty, we have the Multi Pro, uh, PPG Multi Pro interior eggshell down already. And this is, uh, like I said, 18 by 24. First up is Golden, and this is their Iridescent Silver Fine. And I'm starting with it first because it is so light, um, thinking this will show up um, the most, not the most, but it it'll show up. And um, hopefully it'll just be um, soft but it will bring all of its friends with it. This next up is Deco Art, and this is Sky Blue, and it's got such a beautiful silvery shimmer to it. Oh my goodness, I'm excited about that, but I added a little bit of the Lucas um, Phalo Blue in there because it was just not quite deep enough, and um, so I thought, Instead of adding black, I didn't want to go that dark. I wanted to keep it still with the same uh, blue value that it has. And so I did not add the black, so I added the phalo. This here is uh, TLP, love TLP, um, Indigo Waves. And um, I have not used this yet, I don't think. So we're going to toss a quite a bit amount of that in there as well. This one here, I just threw it in for fun. It's by Rolio and it's called Snowflake. And I thought, you know what? It's just, you know, kind of a funny little thing. It's called Snowflake, so we might as well do it. I kind of wanted to do all blue and silver because I thought, you know, I live in Michigan and it's freaking cold here. I thought, why not do it? Okay, so now, last but not least, is Deco Art, and this is the metallic, and this is Sapphire. And I think I said ice blue for the first one that I mixed with the phalo. If I didn't, um, please forgive me but I meant to say ice blue if I said sapphire. I don't know what I said now. All right, we're just going to, ooh, we don't want to use that one. I just want to get rid of a couple of these little turkeys right here. I chose black cell activator and um, I did Australian Floetrol three to one with oxide black. And I ran out of uh, spoons and stir sticks, so I'm using this. And we're going right there. We're going to go cool fan, high air. Okay, there we have it. Let's do this.
All righty, looking pretty good. Let's see how that center sets up. Cells are gorgeous. The blues are gorgeous. The uh, silver did its thing. It's incorporated everywhere. Um, I'm going to just give it time. I'm not going to try and encourage this. I have to like leave it alone and give it a few minutes. I do want to fix my horn there, get rid of that one and that one, and then we're going to spin. So we'll be right back. All right, I was very patient. I did not touch it. I let it come together all by itself. Um, I gotta make sure that I'm not gonna hit all my paints here. We're gonna give this a little spin. Um, I pulled out some of the paint uh, over the dry edges of the canvas. And, um, you know, when you do these blooms on a rectangular canvas, you have to keep in mind to blow your petals out a little bit further. Um, gosh, I got a big white one there, white pe petal. Um, yeah, let's hopefully that will go away. Not real thrilled about it. But we try to go this way a little bit further and keep it a little bit in this way because we know we're going to lose this anyway. So we've got less space to go. So we need to really uh, push that out. And I think I overdid it there a little bit with the pillow. But um, it's got a lot of shimmer in there from the snowflake. So um, I think it might be okay. Uh, let's do this again. We're going to go a little spin. Uh, I got my board here all set and ready because I know it's, the paint's gonna fly off like crazy. Um, that may just have to be my negative space, which I wasn't planning on, but I wasn't planning on not having any as well. So um, I just thought I would let the canvas do whatever it wanted to do. I was focused more on the blue. Uh, yeah, see, I don't like that at all. But we're going to keep spinning. Let's just see what we have. I don't like this as well. Whoopsies, I missed. I uh, don't like that little spot right there, so that has to come off. Uh, it's looking good, though. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, you know, that negative space up there, it's not too bad. Um, like I said, it's got a lot of uh, shimmer to it, and it balances off with this here and a little bit of that negative space there as well. Not sure I really like this. Um, I'm going to take a dip-a-doodle in the center and see how much paint I have left because I know I put a lot of pillow down. Oh, it looks pretty darn good. So with that being said, I don't like that. I think I'm going to spin it one more time off camera. And if I can get that off from there, I will do that. Um, if not, then I'm going to take it off and I'm going to add white there and then that will be a white corner. But the reason why I don't want to do that is because it's just so tiny. Um, although, let me look at this. I'm going to, I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm, I, let's just see what it looks like. We'll just take this off right there because I can always spin it. Okay, so now what I'll do is grab some white out of the gallon here. Be mindful, do not go over your canvas. And we're just going to pour some right on there and just let it fall. There we go. And then we're going to cover up the little striations of paint that I made with my finger and my spoon there. Okay. 
Yeah, I actually kind of like that. It's not bad. So we're going to leave it. I'm going to take you down and I'm going to show you the results. Alrighty, do you see what I see? Holy guacamole, cell explosion. The blues paired so beautiful together and the silver did its magic. I'm thrilled with the silver. You can see that there's quite a bit going on. It showed up, it paired so well with the blues. Uh, one of my favorite um, spots is right there. Love that. Uh, this is my ultimate favorite spot right up here. That petal is just phenomenal. As you can see, the blue, the uh, ice blue with the phthalo, very, very brilliant, but soft because of the metallic. Uh, here is my big, fat, negative space, but it's got some shimmer going on. If you look up, if you look close, there's a little bit of cell activator going on in there, so it's not so bad. Sorry, camera default there. Um, but the blues and the silver, everything just looks great. I'm so happy with it. Thank you so much. And I would love to thank everyone for including me in this wonderful, wonderful opportunity to create something fun. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, give me a thumbs up. And again, thank you team for uh, including me in this wonderful venue. And up next is Tanya from Creations by Tanya. So stay tuned for her and everybody else. Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy holidays. And to you and to yours, wishing you all turkey, tinsel, and toys. And until next time, bye.